Hi guys. Today we are discussing another disease. This is PPR of gods. Pestidus pestis ruminans. PPR. PPR is a contagious and acute febrile viral disease of sheep and goat mainly characterized by high fever, sores, diarrhea and pneumonia. Death rate in neonates are high. The synonym of disease is cata, goat plague, pseudorinderpest, stomatitis, pneumonitis complex. Goat plague is due to a uh, high death rate is the main reason for the synonym goat plague. And pseudorinderpest is actually due to it is having the same lesions of rinderpest that is in small animal rinderpest and also caused by the virus belonging to the same genus of rinderpest virus that is why pseudo rinderpest now the etiology is agent paramyxoviridae which is a single stranded rna virus and this is morbilli virus ppr virus is the genus sorry ppr virus is a species it is epitheliotropic and lymphotropic that means that it is loving epithelial surface and loving lymph cells it is antigenically related to the CD virus of dogs, RP of cattle, and measles virus of humans. Secondary bacterial infection increases the death rate in pneumonids due to pneumonia formation. Now, the susceptible host primarily affect goat and sheep and more severe in goats. Sometimes, camels and wild ruminants, which are small ruminants, also cause same disease. Morbidity is high in case of neonids. Cattle and buffalo also get the infection, but uh, in case of cattle and buffalo, those are subclinical infection only. They will not be producing any clinical signs or clinical symptoms that should be treated. Moving to the transmission and route of infection, all secretions and excretions of sick animals are the source of infection since it belongs to the paramyxo family. The close contact with infected animals, that is inhalation, ingestion of inhalation of droplets, ingestion of the saliva, urine, or contaminated feed and water etc or through conjunctiva it can be spread there is no carrier state in case of ppr now the incubation period according to the oie is 21 days but the incubation period depends upon the load of virus strain of virus nature of virus health status of animal etc but uh, normally incubation period is usually four to five days pathogenesis the virus gain entry into the animal body through nasal passage or by ingestion after multiplication in the upper respiratory tract, they move to the retropharyngeal mucosa and local lymphoid tissues and pharyngeal and laryngeal lymph nodes and tonsils. Then they drain into the lymphatics and then to the venous system and get into the systemic blood flow. The virus specifically targets the alimentary canal, the respiratory mucosa and the lymphoid tissues. Infected cells undergo necrosis, that is lymphoid tissues undergo necrosis, this leads to lymphopenia and alimentary tract the cells undergo limb undergo necrosis, so leading to diarrhea and dysentery. In respiratory mucosal epithelium, there is proliferation of cells. Young goats may suffer from severe diarrhea because of respiratory for respiratory signs, that is, before respiratory lesions are starting to come. They may have severe diarrhea and they die of dehydration. That is, severe diarrhea means a very drastic change in the electrolytic imbalance that can lead to hypovolemic shock. That can also lead to pneumonia because of secondary bacterial infection. The clinical signs are pyrexia due to viremia, leukopenia due to self destruction of leukocytes, restlessness, dull coat, dry muscle, nasal and ocular discharges because of upper respiratory tract viral proliferation, matting of the eyelids, that is sticking of the eyelids, occlusion of the nostrils, dyspnea and coughing later. Secondary bacterial complications aggravate the respiratory signs because they may produce viral and bacterial pneumonia, bronchopneumonia. Now, the exudates in the nasal and hip region dries and form crust in the regions of nares and mouth. And this crust is left off from the nasal region and goes to the feed of another animal and this is the main cause of transmission. Now we move to the clinical signs, swollen lips and hyperemic oral mucosa, bran like deposits in the oral mucosa, necrotic stomatitis, upper lip erosion. It also has erosions and small small ulcers in the dorsum and ventrum of the tongue, dehydration, emaciation, hypothermia and death. Usually after 5 to 10 days it is not treated. 
pregnant animals will abort for sure pipe stream diarrhea will be present that is like uh, if you open a pipe how will the water go like that diarrhea will happen morbidity and mortality rates are higher in lung animals than in adults this is uh, these are the pictures you can see the lesions here now gross post mortem lesions necrotic and erosive stomatitis in case of gi tract lesions necrotic lesions in the lower lip necrotic lesions in the lip dorsum of tongue erosions and in the cheek commissure etc in severe cases the hard palate the pharynx and upper esophagus will be affected and necrotic and hemorrhagic lesions will be present sometimes a diphtheritic coating or a material like coating will be present over the tracheal region pious patches will be severely affected due to the uh, removal of the lymph cells necrosis and hemorrhage of mesenteric lymph node mesenteric lymph node will be hyperemic and very enlarged and now the terminal ileum will be having many erosions and hemorrhagic points in the large intestine sometimes zebra stripes appearance may come this that's why it is also called a pseudo render pest it is actually due to streaks of congestion fold along the colon and rectum cecal colic junction etc since in the respiratory tract is actually due to bacterial and viral pneumonia and interstitial pneumonia and bacterial pneumonia is actually causing the bronchopneumonia and the severe congestion hemorrhage and fluid deposit will be there in other gross lesions liver will be having hemorrhages on the surface zero sanguinous fluid in pericardial sac because of hydropericardium minor hemorrhage on cortico medullary junction of kidney and small deposits of antigen antibody complex will be found on the ureter crystals they may crystallize and form small small urate crystals hemorrhages in the trachea you can see the congestion hemorrhage and consolidation in the lungs due to bronchopneumonia and severe congestion in the bronchus now in the mucosal surface stripes actually that's are due to the hemorrhagic muscular folds and the streaks of colon pro sanguinous fluid in the pericardial sac and going to the microscopic lesion synthesis paramicto virus we can find intranuclear and intracytoplasmic cells on gi tract cells on type 2 pneumocytes and syncytium will be appearing to with inclusion bodies in the pear patches clean and lymph node will be having a lesser number of cells due to depletion of lymphoid cells in the cortex region of spleen and lymphopenia will be there in in kidney we can see hemorrhages small small spots uretic crystal deposition diffuse cremation of tubular epithelium and interstitial nephritis now we moving to the diagnosis first one will be the tentative diagnosis that by seeing the clinical signs history and vaccination status and the health status of animal now the serological test will be agid etc now rt pcr pcr elisa sandwich elisa virus neutralization test etc can be done now the differential diagnosis has to be done we have to rule out many diseases that is fmd render pest blue tongue contagious ectema or orf pastorosis and mycoblastosis now the extra points this is not a zoonotic disease no zoonotic prevalence the vaccine strain used is live attenuated vaccine sungri 96 this question was asked in many icr exams z stripes or zebra stripes are also found in some cases like that of render pest in intestine and cecum frequency of vaccination we vaccinate only once in a year other vaccines are ppr vac this is the ppr vax in a pest vax these are live attenuated ppr virus thank you